We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to lip bands because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in. Hello beautiful people! Good morning! It is a very gloomy morning here in the countryside. By the way, we are finally back home. Jin dobre! Morning! Whoa. Nice looking hair! <laughs> okay, so yesterday we were in Bohol and now we're finally back here in Cebu guys. That quick. Um, so we took ocean jet again going back to Cebu and I was actually not feeling good because it was pretty rough there were big waves actually going back to Cebu so yeah today I'm having a really bad tummy I took meds already mom gave me a traditional massage this morning and right now I'm feeling very weak but I am gonna vlog today <laughs> so that I will be ahead Anyway, um, we actually had so much fun in Bohol. I really hope we could have stayed one more night to make the most out of it. I think two nights is not enough because we would have gone to an island hopping and bring Robbie to Balikasag Island because he likes to snorkel. But we could always go back to Bohol. It's only two hours away from Cebu. And so yeah. Uh, did you enjoy Bohol? Oh, very much. Very much? Your snorkeling? <laughs> did you enjoy your new snorkel? Yeah? Okay, so today we will just be here at home, guys. Um, we will be cleaning and um, do some stuff here. I'll also, I'll also take you in mommy's house um, because she already transferred her store going to the, um, the big house. So, but please bear with me, okay? Because my energy is going down. I have really bad tummy. Tommy is still very bad guys. I didn't consume anything today. Well, I did just a cup of hot milk and one piece of bread I don't want to shock my tummy. I think this is really something I ate in Bohol <sighs> I just asked mom to get me more meds and Bukhari sweat actually buko juice would be better for me because it's natural electrolytes, but Papa's not here and I cannot open a buko and I don't think <laughs> Robbie, I'm not sure, but I don't wanna ask him and uh, lose one finger. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys what he did again today. So this 
um, Shurak was here before where the plant is and then he wanted to transfer it here because he said it looks better and actually indeed it is and it's a lot um, nice because we can put our all our shoes and slippers over there so it's organized when it was just in the back of the door it was being neglected I'm not even using it so it's better that it's here than I'd be able to use it now most often since I can see it every single day and we turn on this very nice humidifier what do you guys call this i don't know but this was gifted to me by bro and my twin last christmas thank you so much and i'll show you here um robbie got this mirror this was in the living area and then he transferred it here because i really wanted to have a mirror here inside our bedroom so he put it right here, very nice. I can do my makeup and check myself for my outfits. And we're gonna check Robbie out. He's outside. <laughs> He's still doing the laundry. Jin dobre. Look how much. I know, honey. You've oh. done so many laundry today. Look at this, guys. He started 7 in the morning to do the laundry. <laughs> Two hours later, you're still doing the laundry. Oh my gosh. Still no breakfast. Still no breakfast, honey. I cannot cook. What do you want? I'm feeling very weak still. Oh yeah, we went to DIY again. Okay, so Robbie's favorite store is Mr. DIY. Ace Hardware. And... What's the other one? The new one. Home Builders. <laughs> so he got this, what do you call this one? A wrench? Uh, adjustable wrench, I think. Pipe wrench. Pipe wrench. And then, these are the pasalubong I got, guys, from Bohol. Tada. Kalamay. I'll ask Robbie to try this one later with bread. This is good. just finished another massage from mom she massaged my back I think I had over fatigue she said okay Robbie and I are gonna drive the motorbike well he is driving the motorbike I have this hoodie because I'm cold it's actually oh looks like it's drizzling is it no okay we're gonna go to the cafe so Robbie can have dinner Maybe I'll grab something to eat. Let's see. <laughs> Love. <laughs> the bike is there. Bye.
beautiful people good morning this is the next day now yesterday I was feeling very bad so we are continuing the vlog today and it's very early in the morning we are driving to the airport because we are heading to where are we going oh, <laughs> Guys, we are finally going to Boracay, the number one beach in the Philippines. And I'm very excited. It has been a long time since I went to Boracay. I can no longer remember when was the last time I went there, but I know there's going to be loads of changes. I hope it's still going to be pristine powder white sand beach. I think it is still. So yeah, we are driving with Ruby to the airport and we're actually going to be leaving Ruby in the airport guys because we were calculating it. It's cheaper if we leave Ruby than if we're going to take the grab from the city to the airport. So our flight is... What time is our flight? 11.25. Yes, and right now 7.54, so we have loads of time. We're going to grab breakfast there as well. Let's go. Hello, we made it in the airport, guys. Magtan Cebu International Airport, domestic. And we are gonna weigh our luggage. We actually got 20 kilogram check-in luggage, so we won't have a hard time carrying a backpack. 18 and a half? Okay, mine is 19. Let's see. Who's your bet? Ta-da! What? <laughs> no one wins. <laughs> no one wins. That was close, sir. Okay, we go to the other side. The Cebu Pacific is there. I really thought so we can get Pasalubo. We can get some shopping in Boracay. <laughs> because it's like 17? 17.5. Oh, they have something over there. Look, Sev Travels. Look, guys. Because Sinulog is coming, so they have like a welcome treat for everybody. That's so cool. <laughs> like a welcome treat for the people coming home. Going there? No, my son. Ah, okay. He's somewhere in here roaming around. Uh huh. Hi. Oh my god, I love Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fan now, honey. I love this no one. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody. Like everybody said. Yes. <laughs> He's Jack of all trade, Master of none. <laughs> 
Thank you po. Bye bye po. Thank you. Hello everybody! Finally, we are now here in Boracay. We just checked in in our hotel. We arrived exactly 2 p.m. and we're ready for check-in. So I'm I'm gonna give you a quick haul. We are staying at Station Two, uh, very close to the D Mall, which is actually like the main market here in Boracay. So first, to the right, we have here our bathroom and toilet so we have hot and cold water that is very good we have a little sink and they have provided some toiletries and then we have here what else oh by the way <laughs> look at this this is very brilliant so if you're gonna get out and you know bring the key you have to unplug this one and this is actually for the aircon that's a very see aircon's off that's a very how do they do this that's pretty crazy for me <laughs> rob is like that's easy but like as a woman i don't know about electrical all right so this is our bed we have two beds of course so this is my bed for the queen queen size bed this is robbie's Ta -da. <laughs> the way around. no air condition over here and then we also have a small tv and a office area so that i could edit and also we have a small fridge now this hotel guys actually includes free breakfast so we do have plated breakfast in the morning for four nights we are staying in barakai for five days and then it also has a safe right here so that's a very good addition robbie loves safe <laughs> he always looks for it okay so we are staying at isla gecko now we're heading out rob is so excited to go to the beach i cannot wait also it's been five years since i did not come to barakai so let's go hello everyone 
everybody, we're finally in the beach of Boracay. It is still as beautiful, as pristine as it was five years ago that I was here. Hi, hi honey, welcome oh to Boracay. <laughs> so nice okay by the way guys we want to give a big shout out and thank you so much to DTL for our flight tickets to Barakai yes. thank you DTL <laughs> Salamat po. Salamat po. Um, so she actually sent a super thanks that is supposedly for a dinner, right? But then we want to use it coming here in Boracay. So thank you so much, DTL. Truly appreciate it. Yes. We are going to explore more of Boracay, guys. In the coming days that we are here, we will be snorkeling, probably do some island hopping, and eat some nice food we just had our late lunch by the way 3 p.m now so we're gonna go to the d mall grab some gelato because it's very hot but guys the water the sand is perfect right you like it <laughs> it's so I'm nice stay in the water. i know it's so pretty in here Hello guys, now we are here in D Mall. This is just very close to station 2 by the way. And we're gonna have ice cream for dessert. Robbie earlier had, you will have. You're not gonna share it to me? Wow, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I will have one bite only because I'm too full with the lunch we had. This one here is the best gelato I've tried in Boracay area, so it's pretty good. Roby and I love ice cream. When we were in Bohol, oh, we had ice cream as well. And here we're getting ice cream everywhere. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys how much is actually the transfer from the airport going here in the island because it was pretty hectic. I was not able to talk because I just had to like hold all the bags in since uh, it was chaotic. But yeah, there was a lot of fees to actually pay in order to come here on the island. <laughs> pretty crazy. What's the mango? Mango, you getting mango? <laughs> Which did you try? Mango? Mm. Is it sour? Yeah. Ah, that's why. Sour. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of. guys we are here in a restaurant that's selling buko because we have to keep hydrated we were having headaches earlier because we didn't have lunch and we were so hungry like we were starving earlier <laughs> ah, and also I think we were dehydrated mm. So buko here in Boracay will cost you 130 pesos. This is normal because this is a touristy place, right? In Cebu it should be 25 pesos, but you cannot compare it since you're in Boracay. The top tourist destination in the Philippines. So earlier we were just walking around in D Mall looking for aqua shoes for Abby because I actually got my own aqua shoes finally <laughs> he's so mad <laughs> he doesn't have any size for him it's so hard to get his size he's like 40 what's your size honey Nine. 49 no 43 
43, 45, 43. So yeah. And then um, we were inquiring how much is paddle boarding and they said it is 300 pesos per 30 minutes. And the crystal kayak is also 300 pesos. So maybe we're gonna do that tomorrow or the next day. Buko so good. Hello everybody, we are now here in the beach. I'm actually situating myself here just in the sand because I don't feel like going to the water since it's only gonna be a few minutes because the sun is going down. Robbie's in the water already, he's so excited. But again, his snorkeling mask didn't work because of his beard so he has to shave before actually using it because the water is getting in because of the beard. Anyway, right now I'm gonna talk to you guys is actually about the transfer from the airport going to Boracay Island because it was a bit chaotic but anyway so from the airport you can actually take a van that will cost you 100 pesos to go to the port but we opted to get the tricycle so that will cost you 75 pesos per adult and it was just pretty much few minutes actually and from there once you enter the port there were so many fees it's so crazy so there is a different fee between local and tourists so for foreigners there is an environmental fee of 300 pesos for local is 150 pesos terminal fee is 150 pesos for per adult as well and the boat is only 50 pesos can you believe that so the boat's only 50 pesos and all of the fees are like really high but yeah anyway <laughs> that was it um i think we paid a total of for robbie it was like a total of 500 i guess and then for mine it's 350 just from the port going here in the island so yeah um when we arrived in the ports we got a tricycle you can have tricycle um for 25 pesos but if you want to get a private tricycle that's 150 pesos but we opted to get a private one so that's 150 but since we already had passengers in the front he said we can only pay for four persons in the back so we paid him 100 pesos so yeah here we are finally after all the fees but i would say it's totally worth it it's just in the beginning it can be overwhelming but once you're here oh my gosh the most powder like sand that you can find in the philippines i would say it's beautiful very nice sunsets coming oh my gosh it's so nice here i really love it so tomorrow i'm definitely going to the beach um we're gonna try um some activities here there is parasailing um scuba diving there's also helmet diving i asked robbie about it but i don't think he will but let's see he's over there oh zoom it in there he is he loves the beach so much guys 
Hello everybody, good evening. I hope you guys are seeing me, but anyway, the internet here in Boracay is a struggle. So here I am in the middle of the crowd having dinner and I'm working in my laptop. I'm here in a cafe, but I'm actually not using their Wi-Fi because it is very slow. So right now I'm using my data connected to my laptop so that I can upload a vlog tonight. It's 724. I don't think it will make it right on time. Uploading 11%. Struggle is real, guys. I hope you will appreciate the Boracay vlog. Ah, no. This is not Boracay yet. This is the first first day in Bohol. So I hope you guys will appreciate watching this one tonight. If it were, if it will ever make it because oh my gosh 11% it's stuck at 11 but anyway this is how it is so many people now at night actually having dinner it's 7 25 p.m. we're just gonna finish this vlog to be uploaded and then we're gonna grab dinner